very high. On board with Connor Daly. Oh. The, the most dangerous wrecks that we have are impacts to the head, right? Because all we've got is just our helmet. But if you hit something at 200 miles an hour, it could be this big and, and it's, and it's going to do a lot of damage. What are some of the safety changes that, because you mentioned earlier, they've changed this season for the cars, modifying, and what are some of those changes? So basically, it's it's not this season in particular, but really the 2020 and 20, I kind of lump 2020 and 2021 together because 2020 yeah. just felt weird, but we have uh, the, the most dangerous wrecks that we have are impacts to the head, right? Because all we've got is just our helmet. But if you hit something at 200 miles an hour, it could be this big and, and it's, and it's going to do a lot of damage. So, um, so basically the, the fighter jet canopy type, uh, development went into play and, and we've got, you know, this, this, uh, basically like a bulletproof glass type canopy, uh, with equipped with a, a halo that kind of basically is just another, element to the cockpit that adds sturdiness, but it adds, you know, basically it completely protects our head, um, against anything. And, 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 and they've, you know, they've done a great job with it. It's, it's taken a lot because obviously it used to be, you know, super open cockpit car. We feel the wind in our face, everything. Now it's all enclosed and, and there's a few drawbacks with it, like the heat, um, cause we don't have air conditioning in the car. Um, and there's only so much air you can funnel in there. And if it's just hot air, well, it's not doing a lot either. Um, so yeah, so that, so there's, you know, we have one, the way to get out of the car is still right out the top of the canopy. It's not entirely sealed. Um, but I mean, that's, it's been a huge development. I mean, that's, that's adding, you know, you add about 70 pounds of, of 70 pounds of safety stuff right on top of the cockpit, which is, uh, which is a lot, but, but it does its job. And, and it's been, it's already, I think been somewhat successful. Yeah. Does that affect visibility or performance at all? So visibility wise, it doesn't do anything. You do, you barely even notice it. Um, performance wise, it, it has changed the balance of the cars. Um, for, for certain drivers, more so than others, me in particular, I've, I'm very struggling a lot because you change the center of gravity when you add 70 pounds right above the driver. So the, the car now reacts differently. Um, and I, it has really been a killer for me. I have, we have not yet figured out how to, uh, mechanically get to the right level. Um, to, so, so we can, you know, perform at the highest level, but you know, some people, you know, you, I, I looked last year, our first year with the aero screen, and you see a guy like Simon Pagano, who's won the Indy 500, won the Indy car championship. The guy was qualifying like last every race, like dead last. And you're like, well, he didn't forget how to drive. You know what I mean? But there's this new element now that we've got to work with. And I think there's several drivers who it, it affects more than others. And, and that's, that's only been the, you know, we're not going slower overall but it's just changed the way the car works.